Thank you very much, this is of Do you get caught up in trying to put it on? Our next speaker is Toastmaster Robert Schumann. When I asked Robert what he would do if he got into the game, he said, everything technology. He would get into Zoom meetings, programming, content writing. And why would he do this? He said that this would allow him to work from home or anywhere. To evaluate Robert, we have Toastmaster Akasha There are three steps that I have 
ini Huni can that are part of my work in progress when it comes to networking The first step is something you all familiar with This is what you're doing right now which is listening actively to what I am saying In listening, there are three sub-strategies I employ I listen to understand whether I agree with the person who is speaking, I disagree with them, or the fact whether they create delight. I noticed these only sub strategies enabled the second step to be a natural progression, which was asking questions. By listening intently, by asking myself, whether I agreed with the contents of what was being said or not, I was able to develop questions that became my entry and my explainer to the particular person I wanted to network with. It helped when Motelle spoke about piqued my interest. With that, I got a door opened with, excuse me, this. When you said that short men have a symbol, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and with that, my chosen target would respond. If you noticed, many people enjoy talking about themselves. The thing is to try and find that thing they like talking about. In this case, that's where questions come. You ask a first question, a second question, and all these need to be connected and followed up. That will open up the person you speak to. As you ask, you're intently listening to what they're telling you, and at one point, you may only on a need that we may have. That then moves to the third step offering assistance. As an active listener and as an active networker, you are, in my view, trying to connect with this person by finding their needs. Once you feel you have identified that need through your question sequence, you can then offer assistance. For example, is having a challenge with his speaking. He confides to me after this meeting that yes, his speech was great, but he thought he communicated better with his body language. Because I was actively listening to Simon, I remember I know someone who is excellent at body language. Later, I then suggest to Simon, I know someone who can help you solve this exact problem. Why don't I introduce you to Lillian? And I walk to Lillian and say, hey, Simon needs help you. His body language could you assist. That way, the loop is complete and the connection is finally made. I want to conclude by breaking it down to you again. Networking does not have to be a pain. These three steps can be incorporated into your own style. Remember to listen actively, ask questions, and be open to assist. It has made me more comfortable in networking sessions and has made my networking experience more powerful. So, I'm hoping that you too have a few secrets you can share with me. I'll be looking forward to connecting with you. But I'm just